Hello everybody. Let me put my hammer away. I love this little stainless steel table. I got room underneath for my power tools, air tools, one thing or another. Uh, it works so nice. There's something Cullen dragged home from work. What's funny what they throw out is usable. Got a kind of a cool little project. Uh, now this is like a meeting of the minds project right here. This old Dave, 100 cc saw. And uh, we've got, we are putting a pipe on this. And I use, when I build my plate, I just use that for a template, the gasket. This is a metal one that, that works pretty nice. You make sure if everything fits right. Okay, we're doing something crazy. This is an experiment. Okay, a piece of an old header for a, actually it was a piece of a 180 degree header. And I've got the bottom part of this shape where I want it. The top, I've got to cut a notch in here and get it down where that it's the same size as that. And then I'll build my plate. Okay, what I'm doing here, I'm going to, I'm gonna, I, I don't have no secrets, people. You know that. But if something works, I'll tell you what worked. If it don't work, I'll tell you what never to do again. But that pipe is going to go on here like this. All right? So you get the idea there. That's what we're looking for. All right? Side view there. Yep. Oh, I know. That's way too big. We can't do that, can we? I'm going to tell you what. I talked to Buck and Billy, and a while ago, he gave me an idea. Um, I'm not creative when it comes to mufflers. I think you just need a wild like one like one of these bikes behind me. You need something like that on a two-stroke. Well, Buck and Billy convinced me, no, these other things work, just that. The bear claw design there, that ram's horn one. So I built that single one that's on that 266 and stuff. Same thing was on a bug and stock saw. Worked. Made it pull. Once I got one that was actually successful, I understood what he meant. Well, he was telling me that he had in the past made a little experiment, and I listened. Now, this old seal, let's pretend that's a, a just a round piece of metal. Let's say you put that in that pipe. And you bore a hole, you have a little stud on there, so you slip it right up in there. With a nut on it. So you can turn that and adjust how much flow you got. I'm going to have it back in here. That's where I want it. Right in here about. So it'll, it'll turn. It'll turn inside. Now what it'll be able to do is take a wrench. Boom, boom. Adjust that. Make it anywhere from that big to that big. See? Just by turning that. I love the idea. Plus, I can get everybody that knows anything about a chainsaw really grumbling when they see how big that pipe is coming out. They're like, oh, you're going to blow your saw up. Well, if you look in and see that, it's a baffle. That's what it is. I'm going to add a twist to it. We're going to make an experiment. I am going to take a piece of stainless steel, and I'm going to insert it right in to the exhaust. I'm going to go down about five-eighths of the uh, dimension, maybe three-quarters. We're going to play with that. I want to see if I can get, when that exhaust opens, the main part of the exhaust go out the top. The air and fuel mixture that, after transfer is open, comes out the bottom. That's what I'm trying to make happen. And then it gets sucked back in when you get negative pressure. You know, vacuum impulse, it'll suck right back in. That's the way two strokes work. That's what makes it pulse when you get the right pipe. You, you create it. A resonance is what makes it happen on motorcycles and snowmobiles. We're so short that to try to calculate for a resonance wouldn't be very probable. But we can build anything. So what I'm going to do, put that little joker on there with that little thumb in there, with that piece of pipe on there. Of course, everything's going to be dressed up and... In the right dimensions, exactly the right place. Chain uh, chain brakes got to work. It doesn't can't interfere with the dogs. That whole nine yards. This is just nice to get started on this. If you want to see more on this little personal project, I'll show you. And then if uh, 
this doesn't work like I want. I'll build what I normally do. I'm going to show you one of them anyway. They're much simpler to build than what we're doing right here. Not everybody's got a header laying around. Well, wait a minute. Who am I talking to? You guys probably do, or at least you know a buddy that's got one. Yeah, just a 90. So that's what I'm trying to accomplish here. We got my logger buddy Evan here, and I'll tell you what he's doing. He's down here looking through his parts. And he, I'm loving it. He's, lo he's loving it. Tell YouTube what you think of freaking people. It's nice. Very nice. Very, Very nice. nice people. Couldn't believe it. They gave you a bunch of parts for your skitter, didn't they? Yes, they did. Yes, sir. And I thank them. Yep. It, uh, the guy, guy will get the message. It, uh, I think you got all the bearings and everything. All and, the bearings. Uh, now you're just trying to find out where all your bolts are and stuff. Get your carrier. Make we sure got, I got them. Yeah, we got to get a, a little nose piece for right under the the uh, yoke. Which that'll be easy to get. Uh, that's it. Yeah, and that's it. He says, Evan told me a minute ago, he says, everybody just can't believe there's people out there that nice that will help do this. Just, he says, I'm not going to know how. What are you going to think when you got four-wheel drive again? It's going to be different, isn't it? It's better than two-wheel. Yeah. Pushing the machine around. Yeah, that uh, they don't get around. They don't back up for nothing, do they? We no. just rear end. Don't even go on frozen ground, hardly. How, how long did it take you to get a load of logs out with just uh, rear end only? About three days. You can do that much every day, can't you? Yep. You're losing that much, aren't you? My boy coming out, maybe we did a little better, but winching myself up in the woods backwards to get up there. Is that how you was doing it? You was winching it yourself? Me, it would take me about an hour to get up into the woods. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, what do you do with that? It. Uh, can you imagine being so hardcore that you're going to make Something work that you pull in a hundred foot of main line. Is that where you run a hundred foot? Yeah, about eighty foot. He's got about eighty on there. Pulling eighty foot of main line, winch yourself back and keep doing that till you get back up the hill. That's what I did. Yep. That's that's tough, ain't it? That's a tough man. I I can't believe you did that, Evan. I really can't. Uh it uh the thing is these people are so wonderful on this channel. They're the kindest people you ever meet, Evan. Everybody is interested in what's going on with the skitter. We're going to show the, this whole thing being put together, if you don't mind. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to go out there and cut for a few days with you when we get that going. You like that? Yeah. I just I, got some nice trees to cut here. You do? Yeah. Good. Loving it. So we're going to get some cutting in with Evan. Uh he going to get that front end apart, and we're going to make sure we got uh, that little, uh, that nose for the yoke on that. It's just a little tiny piece. There won't be no big deal to get that. And then we're putting this thing together. We still have, I, I need, you know what I need to do, people? I need to do a questions and answers video. A lot of stuff in the comments. Uh, let me try, I'll try to cover a couple of them right now. Our, our little axe video, where we cut the head off of that. When we get done with some of these saws, we're going to bring that Fiskers in. We're going to bring the Forge in. You're going to see that video. Uh, I've just got to get some saws done, you know. And that, that's just got to happen. Um, the two, One of you guys is asking about a 250 Mac. You're... You're not going to make it something that's not, friend. Uh, that's not exactly the right Mac to get. Uh, if you want to accept it the way it is, being a part of history, you got a nice little saw there just to have a lot of fun with. Uh, that was one question that I wanted to address. There is about 50 questions that people have asked me in these emails and in the comments. A lot of them are right in the comments. And I'm going to do a uh, an answer video for that. Uh, so we got that stuff kind of covered, and uh, 
I'm looking forward to that one actually because it's so fun. And because uh, you go through there once in a while, I find ones. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that guy. You know, he's crazy one thing another. Tim Barden. We gotta get the logging, buddy. I'm getting the winter blues, friend. It's uh, plain and simple. I'm gonna tell you what. I was. Uh, Eric Nelson's been sending me some videos of different things. Him shipping logs. He gets about a load every day. He works long. That's he's doing a good job. If this weather don't freaking break pretty quick, I'm going to head out to Mass. I'll cut some Mass timber. Christ, that looks way different. It, it uh, he don't have bad weather like we got right now. It, uh, this is the toughest time. What do you think mud season is going to do? When do you think it's going to be over? Never. It's not this year, <laughs> is it? It's never over. You can't freaking, we're not going to be able to move for about five weeks, are we? I'm going to keep going. Yeah, I mean, but there's a lot of them shut right down, ain't there? Yeah. Yeah, what do you do with that? Well, you got to get a dozer and fix what you tear up. Yeah, yeah, and there's sometimes you're on a marginal timber job. How do you afford it? You got to stop. Uh, sometimes the landowners, the foresters, they make you stop. Mm -hmm. It's in your contract, or they just plain don't want you tearing things all the heck. And uh, we're not destructive. You know what a forester told me one time that's no crap, long time ago. He says, Harvey, I'm going to tell you what logging really is. He said it's controlled destruction. It said, isn't it? There's a lot of, a lot of destruction going on. But yeah, there is. Um, but you know what you're doing is when you're cutting them trees, you're leaving the, the trees that are going to make new growth. Sure. So the next guy's got something to do. And you're trying to get rid of them old junk trees. You run into them places in the hardwoods where you got way too many saplings. Mm -hmm. You got to eliminate some of them, don't you? It, uh, yeah. If you don't, you don't have future timber, do you? No. Nope. And if you take, what happens? How many log jobs have you been on? The old guys scrubbed every freaking tree. They will go everywhere through the woods and just scrub the freaking bark off every tree they could. How many times have you seen that? A lot. And what does that do to that? It just keeps growing, but it's... The grade's it's down. Not, the grade's gone. Yeah, the grade's gone. You're freaking take the most beautiful tree you've ever seen. Don't bust the bark off your trees, guys. Along the skid trail, you'll get one old crappy freaking uh, tree that you'll use as a turning post. Sure. And, and that the last guy did it, and that won't kill that tree, but it scrubs the bark off, don't it? A lot of times I'll cut them down on my left way out. Yep, that's what I do. When I'm done, boom, that's gone. By the time it's time to log again, usually uh, sometimes I just make a new road, you know? That's right. Yep, that's right. It, uh, uh, we've had jobs around here that some of the old timers, they just butchered it. It was 50, 60 years. Especially where it's been pulp wooded. Yeah. Everything's scarred up. Yeah. Well, we didn't, in this immediate area, we never had pulp wooded. They got pulp wooded down your way? Oh, yeah. They do? Where does that ship to, I wonder? Where, where did it? Oh, I don't want to name them, but there's oh, yeah, yeah, okay. there some right. outfits out there that, that do it. They still do it. Yeah. But when you're pulling whole tops out of them woods, it, everything it touches, it does damage. Yeah, because you can. The best thing for your tops is to stay right there, help protect whatever trees grow up through it. Yeah, it does. Straight. It's uh, good for wildlife, too. Uh, the, Lock them suckers down if they're real tall and let them... The wood rots back into the ground. It's good for the ground. and the, you know. Well, you know, in hard winters in the past, what I've seen is deer. You drop an ash tree or a maple. Oh, they love it. They'll, they'll, before you even got the darn thing top, they're eating on that brush on top of that tree, aren't they? Yep. They are. I've seen it. And... Uh, these people think that deer are afraid of skitters. Oh, I don't want you in during hunting season because of this and that. I don't want to be in the woods in hunting season. I don't want to get shot. But them darn deer will freaking uh, walk right down the road right at you. They won't, they'll stop. Yeah. you got to stop, don't you? It's feeding time. Yeah, the minute <laughs> they see a tree on the ground, it's, they're supper, ain't it? Yep. I know, that's what he's at. Well, Evan, I'm going to cut this little thing short. And... Uh, I just wanted to show this little muffler, show the palm of my hand again. I do that every time. I guess you guys get used to that. It, uh, we're going to run this old saw here directly. Um, we've got kind of a neat thing coming up. 
next week. We was going to do it Friday, but I think I got to plow snow tonight. Uh, we're going to go to the Hornell Wildwood Bosies and do a little block of instruction with the, the boys and girls that's in the heavy equipment class. Those are Dennis set this up. He loves them chillings. And we're going to do them a good job. And we're going to run old Dave. A little demonstration. We're going to get some of this on video. Uh, we're not going to show kids' faces, uh, names, do any of that. Uh, you're kind of good to the idea just uh, of what it's all about. But it was it's a wonderful opportunity for our youth to see what happens to old loggers. Walking in there all dippy and one thing or another. It, uh, I'll probably get a half of my step because I, I got an idea these kids are going to be a riot to be around. Educate our youth. I believe in it. People, that's going to be it for right now. Uh, I appreciate you being here. Appreciate hitting that thumbs up. It meant a lot. It really does. Uh, I got to show you a saw. One, I let Evan borrow a saw to get him into this, get going. Got a little mud on it. This husky right here. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, look at that. He didn't even take it to the car wash. This here husky is the one that I'm building for Buckets Tour. It is a grand example. Uh, it's a nice saw. It's uh, old school. It's not an extort. It's the real deal. Too so. Good. We got we got a molly cylinder and everything work. We got good parts here to work with, and uh, this is actually Evan's bar on this chain right now, and uh, he brought that in, set it down. So she said, "I don't remember that bar." Isn't that funny? You can have twenty bars. I probably got at least that many. I don't remember that one. Yeah. Now when I was young and I was drinking, twenty bars later, I don't remember that bar either. You ever had that happen? You forgot which bar you left your car at? <laughs> I, I, I never did that because I didn't believe in drinking and driving. And uh, you know what I did one time? I hid my car keys so I couldn't find them because I was afraid of that. And uh, caught a ride home, got a taxi. Next day I come up, I couldn't find my keys. Didn't remember where I put them. I swear to God. Hid my old keys in my car and go to remember where I put them sober. Yep. Good days, my friends. Just good days. That's what they were. Okay. Enough of this. Thank you for being here. I'm in a great mood. I know you guys are too. You're coming up on Friday. It's got to make a good weekend. We're going to have some cold this weekend here. Northeast. A couple days of it, I'm understanding. You take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'd uh, tell you don't do something I wouldn't do, but there's too much latitude in that. Besides, you'd have too much fun. Enjoy yourselves. Goodbye.